Hi, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Caitlin Dizon and today I'm going to be teaching you how I develop my film. So I personally use the darkroom to develop my film, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. But you can also go to like CVS, Walmart, whatever is easiest for you. The darkroom is actually a photo lab in San Clemente, California, and you just mail it in and it's super easy. So I'm going to show you. Okay, so here on my computer, I pulled up the darkroom website. So I'll leave the link down below. So here you can see it has like film developing, photo gifts and prints, video to DVD. They have all these different options, but I'm gonna scroll down and it says, let's develop some film, it's easy. So then select what type of film you're developing. I'm doing a single use camera, so I'm gonna click that. Then it asks you what type of scan you want. I'm choosing standard scans. And then they ask you if you want prints. So I think I'm gonna get color prints this time. Last time I got no prints. So these are just like physical pictures that they can mail to you. Start order. Here it says how it works. So you send in your film, it gets developed at the lab, and then you get a free web gallery. So you get all of your photos um, online. And then they send you a photo DVD and then optional, you can get prints. Okay, so now that you've clicked start my order, it'll bring you to this screen. And then I just selected that I wanted four inch prints, $8 per set, that, and then how many you want. So I'm just doing one set. And then you can choose if you want glossy or matte, and if you want borders. And then it also says options and custom processing. I don't need any of this, but if you want any of these options, then you click that. Okay, and then my total is $22, and I'm adding it to cart. So now it's brought me to this screen and you're just gonna look at your order, see if everything's right, and then click checkout. So now I'm not gonna like show all of my information, but fill out all of your information, like your postal stuff. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory from here. So now it's just gonna show you what your order is and make sure everything is right. And then you're gonna put in all of your credit card information and how you're going to pay. So I'm gonna fill this out and not show you. Okay, so now I've checked out, I've paid, they have received my order. So now I have to ship in my camera. As you scroll down, there will be shipping instructions. So you have to print your receipt, you have to print your mailing label, and then you have to box and ship your camera or film whatever so i'm gonna be reusing this amazon package i used like envelopes with like the bubble wrap in them and then just stick your camera in follow the instructions print out your receipt and shipping address stick it on and you should be good to go hi okay so it's been a while since i talked to you but i got my online gallery back and i just wanted to like talk to you about how i could download it show you and talk about how long it took timing-wise for me to get my online gallery. So I shipped in my camera Monday, and then it took till Saturday for it to arrive to the darkroom, but that's also just because the post office has been really busy because of the holidays, so it could be faster if you do it at a different time because it's faster for me last time I did it. And then I got my online gallery Monday night. So it arrived Saturday morning, and then I got my online gallery Monday night. So that's three days, that's really good. And I'm really happy about how my pictures came out. Okay, so last night I got a text from the darkroom because I turned on my notifications on my account and it told me like where to go, what to do through the text and it also emailed me. So you get email updates as well as text updates um, if you sign up for both of those. So here you can see I'm on the darkroom website again. And so this time I'm going to my account here is like all of my orders and whatever so I'm gonna go to view album here in my albums is the role that I just got and so then here it is all of the uploads here's all of my pictures I'm super happy on how they came out they're super cute I'm gonna show them at the end but um also you have to be prepared for like not all of the pictures are gonna turn out see like this one here i don't even know what this picture is of <laughs> like you can't tell at all and then this one i have no idea what this is and this one was supposed to be a picture of my sister and a sunset but you can only really see like the pink of the skies and that's all dark it's kind of cool i feel like i might even post that one just for fun on my film account also Follow my film account on Instagram, at Dizon Mustard, two Ds at the end. Um, I will put it on the screen. I'll link it down below if you want to go follow. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
And so here you have your upload. So now you're gonna click download roll. So after I just hit the download button, um, the darkroom sent me a text and an email saying that my photos are ready to be downloaded. And so then you click on the email, it looks like this, and then they give you a link to your roll. And then here is all of them that are downloaded and then you can just share them and do whatever you want with them. So you can also do this on your phone or your computer. Um, I usually get it off my computer and then airdrop it to my phone, but you can just do it off of your phone like right away directly. But yeah, hopefully this video helped you and I'm gonna show all of my pictures at the end here. But if you have any questions, please comment down below and let me know if you like this video by hitting the like button, subscribe, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching and bye!